My name is Rita Boncompagni Ludovisi. Um, I was married to the late Niccolo Boncompagni Ludovisi, 12th Prince of Piombino, and uh, he was the head of the family. And this is, was our home, or is our home, and uh, I've lived here for uh, almost 20 years. This building was built in 1570. The first owner was Cardinal Francesco de Monte. And when you come into the Ingresso, you will see the ceiling was done by the leading Mannerist painter in 1570, Zuccheri. And although it celebrates the, um, the good works of Cardinal Francesco Nero, uh, as you go around it, and in the center, uh, there is a um, face of the grotesque. And as you, you turn, as you're looking at it, and the face follows you everywhere it goes, and the eyes change color. They go from brown to blue. Um, and then there's a baldacchino in the Ingresso. Only families that descend from popes have the baldacchinos. So it's full of history. It's about 30,000 square feet, but it's two acres of land in the middle of Rome. You're in the landscape room, which was featured at the Grand Palais in Paris, and also at the Prada Museum in Madrid in 2010. Um, there's, a, uh, there's a fresco by Guccino, Brio, Viola, Domenichino, the center Pomerancho, and they said that this is the finest representation of 17th century landscape art in the world. Uh, the Michelangelo statue, the reason we know it's Michelangelo, because when uh, Ludovico Ludovici died uh, very suspiciously in 1633, um, his, his, uh, they did an inventory of everything that he had, and that was one of the inventories. And now he's an expert in statues. Every statue you see at uh, Palazzo Altemps came from here. It was, it was given, not everyone, but most of them, the head of Juno, et cetera, and the Ludovici uh, throne, were given by my husband's grandfather to the community of Roma. So he was an expert, and he would never have claimed to have paid uh, so much uh, scudi for that. He paid a lot of scudi for that, almost as much as he paid for the villa, um, uh, if it hadn't been a Michelangelo, but it was an early Michelangelo. As I said in the Ingresso, you see the leading Mannerist painter, Zuccheri. Now, 25 or seven years later, Caravaggio did the ceiling um, in, in the uh, alchemy room of Cardinal Francisco de Monte. He was an alchemista, he's an alchemist. He, he did his alchemy work there, and he thought he could turn iron into gold, which I'm still searching for, but, <laughs> but uh, nonetheless, it was beautiful. It's called Jupiter, Neptune, and Pluto, and it's the three elements that uh, Cardinal Francesco da Monte used in his alchemy work. Um, Jupiter, air, uh, Neptune, water, and then Pluto, um, fire, the dogs of Cerebus. And so um, it, it re represents the elements, the Cronus elements that, that uh, Caravaggio used. And in Guccino's painting here, um, you'll see uh, the, there's a man lying on the ground and he's turning on a sprinkler system. And the women, that are on the lower level are getting all wet in their summer frock. And the men, their boyfriends, their husbands, are all laughing at them and pointing. This is long before all the contests in Florida, you know? And, it was, and they were making fun of all the women getting all wet. And uh, so it's such a human um, humanity that came in there uh, with, the, with the people, et cetera, et cetera. Well, it's so funny. Um, when I was 16, I had just graduated from high school. And my parents sent my sister and I, who had just graduated from college, to Rome with a kind of a teacher uh, to go all over, not just to Rome, but all over Europe. And um, we came, to, and so London was okay, but the food was awful. And then we went to Paris, and I thought, oh, I love Paris, you know. And then we came to Rome, and I felt such an affinity. I can't begin to tell you. I was, I felt like this is something I feel deeply. You can't explain it. And when I went to the uh, Trevi Fountain, I threw a coin in and I said, oh, I hope I marry an Italian and live in Rome the rest of my life. Now, little did I know that it would be a prince or that it would take decades, you know, and, and many life transitions, uh, but that's, that's what I wished. And uh, I, my sister and I have never forgotten it. She was really uh, uh, taken by it. The villa has been appraised at 477 million euros. Did dinners and tours and, everything I could to, to support my husband, and I felt, I felt it was important. And also I felt it was such a great honor. I know it's like a drop of sand that uh, my importance uh, in this 500-year-old history is negligible, or maybe not even seen, but it was for me. And it was such a great honor to uh, restore the 150,000 documents. It was such a great